This is Dawson here with Team Resistance Disc, and today I'm going to show you what's in my bag for the 2023 season. So first, we'll start with the putters and the approach discs. So for putters, I am just putting with the Steady BLs and the stone plastic, just a nice beadless putter. Um, that's kind of what I look for with a little bit of stiffness. So that's what I'll be putting with. Next, I have my zones. Three different zones, three different stabilities. This one is my most overstable zone, super puddle top. And then the Scott Withers Tour Series zone, which is an ESP Sparkle, which is just your nice, stable, flat zone, mainly for backhands. And then we like to call this one old lumpy, super warped, super puddle top jawbreaker zone, which is straight with a little bit of finish at the end. And then lastly, another super warped and puddle top disc, this soft challenger I have. Dead straight, um, just like the jawbreaker zone starts out straight, but this one doesn't fade at the end. It just goes and sits and does not move once it hits the ground. Next, we'll head into the mids. So I've got five mids in my bag. We'll go most stable to least. So the first one I have is the Scott Withers Tour Series Buzz OS, which is a great, very overstable um, Buzz OS. So really like it for that overstable slot. Next, we have the Adam Hammes ESP Sparkle Buzz. This one has been a surprise to me this year and a good one at that. Um, it fits right in between a just point and shoot ESP buzz in that buzz OS. Starts out nice and flat and has a really hard finish at the end. So this is a great in-between disc. Next, we have just an ESP buzz. Nothing more to say than it's just super straight and your typical reliable buzz. This is a wasp tooled buzz SS. Basically, this is a super straight, um, Buzz SS, it's not understable. I can throw it on a touch of hyzer, it just flips up and rides straight and not a lot of finish at the end. So really good for like tight wooded shots that I just need this thing to go straight and go a little bit further than my putters. And then the most understable is this uh, Crystal Sparkle Buzz SS. Very flippy, I can throw this on a lot of hyzer, it's gonna flip up, maybe even ride a little bit right and then just finish at the end straight. So very good understable mid. Then we will head into the fairways, which is arguably the biggest spot in my bag. I have a lot of them. Um, so we'll start here with the flippy stuff. I have a crystal sparkle heat. This is just a great hyzer flip disc, great for the woods. Um, if I need something that I can throw flat and trust that it's gonna turn and just hold that turn, it's a great fairway for that. Goes really far too. This is my Avenger SS, just a solid roller disc. Um, I can always throw this one hard and flat, just know it's gonna get on angle and just start rolling immediately. So great roller disc. Next, we've got my Captain's Raptor, the most overstable Captain's Raptor I've had yet. Um, so throw this thing for just knife spike hyzers because I don't like to throw grenades very much or if I just need something I'm going to throw really hard and just always trust that it's going to finish uh, left or even on four hands just really hard finish right this thing is super super overstable and super reliable then we have three raptors here this one being my most overstable one um, less stable than the cap wrap it glides a little bit more but still has a very overstable finish um, this presnel run is very very reliable so love this disc then we have my baby um, this is my z raptor that's been in the bag for two years now love this disc still nice and overstable but i can get a little bit more glide and a little bit more straighter push out of this one than i can my presnel one so love this disc probably my favorite disc in the bag 
Then we have this 2019 Tour Series ESP Raptor. This one has beaten in so nice. I can get a little bit of hyzer flip out of this and just know that's gonna go straight and then finish at the end. So very awesome disc. If anyone is looking for a Raptor that you can beat in to fly nice and straight, this is the one. Then lastly, we have my Undertakers. Um, another one of my favorite slots in the bag. We'll go with the most understable one, which is this Flydie Z Undertaker. This one is just a tad more stable than my Heat. Um, so hyzer flips to flat, maybe a little bit of right, but it does still finish at the end like an Undertaker typically does. So really liking this disc. Then we have this Low Undertaker. Um, this one, I can just throw really hard straight and it's just gonna go really straight and it's not gonna move um, maybe a little bit of flip up, but it won't like burn on me and it just carries, it's like a long range buzz for me. And then my most overstable one is a TI Undertaker. Um, right in between my pink ESP Raptor and that last Undertaker I showed you. So um, if I need something that's gonna push but finish at the end, this is the one for that. Lastly, the distance drivers. I have three different molds in here. Um, we'll start with my forces. So I love the force. Um, I've got three of them right here. This is my six claw force. Surprisingly fresh out of the box, it was not very stable. So this is a great straight force that I can throw really hard. Um, still has the reliable over stable finish that a force typically does. So loving this disc. And then my fish force. This one is actually starting to get a little bit more flippy, but it's great for my forehands because I can throw this disc really hard um, for someone who's not a forehand dominant player. And um, I can get that straight push out of it with that reliable finish at the end. So really good forehand disc. And then my meat hook of a force is this Z force with this fake hook lab stamp on it that I got out of a used bin. Um, this thing's great for overstable drives. I can really trust this thing in any wind and I can throw this thing hard either forehand or backhand and it's just always going to finish for me. So love this disc. Next up, we've got the Zeus's. Um, this is Zeus with the sparkly stamp is very understable. I actually use this one for more distance rollers than I do for any other shot. Um, if I want to, I can get really big turnover shots out of this, uh, really good distance. So very flippy ESP Zeus. Then we have this pink Zeus. This one's one of the more overstable ones. Um, nice and domey though. So it feels really good in the hand for both forehand and backhand. Um, for forehand, I can get this one to pop up, flip a little bit, and then finish at the end. Um, and this is one of the discs that I can just throw really hard and still trust that it finishes and still get a lot of great distance out of this disc. And then lastly, this one's really special to me because this is the one that got us our D1 bid at College Disc Golf Regional Qualifiers, so really meaningful disc to me. Um, this thing's a bomber. I can throw this thing really far. I can throw it on any angle and it's just gonna hold and then it's gonna finish at the end. So I can throw this thing with a lot of trust and um, it's a very special disc to have in the bag. So don't see it going anywhere unless it chooses to go somewhere that I can't get it back. So love it. And then lastly, a disc that I wasn't sure I was ever gonna throw, but I ended up picking up anyway, which is the Venom. Um, the Venom is a great, great disc. Uh, a lot of people think that it's like the beefiest disc ever. I promise you it's not the beefiest disc ever. It's just a really glidey force is how I like to view it. So um, I can throw this thing on any angle. It will fight out eventually because it is still very overstable, but this thing just holds for a really long time and wants to fly. Um, so I've really been liking it for max shots, max distance shots in the wind, um, or just really overstable uh, glidey hyzers. It's just a great disc all around. So this disc has really surprised me. Very happy to have it in my bag. And then 
this is my grip bag. I've had this thing for ever since I pretty much started. I got it like six months into playing, so this thing's been around for a while. Um, the patches of the tournaments I've been to on the Pro Tour, which is really awesome. Then in here, I'll just take out what I've got. I've got my rangefinder and the Sharpies in there. This side, I just keep my phone keys and wallet, so nothing really special. Um, yeah, so that concludes my bag. Thank you for watching.